Alright, hello YT world, hello to our lifelong learners, and yeah, hello everyone. Are you looking for um, a video discussion on how to write an argumentative essay in a simpler, easier way? Because I myself had also an experience like this wherein I was asked to do a position paper, I was asked to write something. Unfortunately, I don't know how. I was looking for something like more a comprehensive way on how to discuss it, but I found it hard before. So I would like to share some of the few things on how to do it better through this content. Okay, are you here because you were asked to do a position paper or argumentative essay? Or, yeah, you're looking for something like I, something that would help you on how to do it. How are you going to start it? Because the, the, the task is already there, but unfortunately, you don't know how are you going to start it. Are you looking for example on, or for benchmarking? So this video is meant for you. But before that, I hope that you would find time to at least subscribe. It would help. It would, you know, enlighten. Uh, it would boost my confidence on making more videos and like and share. Thank you so much. So let's start. Okay, I would like to start by sharing what May in 2006 says or said before that um, similarly that argumentative essay is one of the most common forms of curriculum genre that undergraduate students write. So halos lahat karamihan daw, um, this is what you are asked to do for undergraduate students. Yet, most students even those first language is English, find it surprisingly uh, have a poor performance in doing such. And I think it is also true to my um, setting, wherein still there are still some who could hardly write an argumentative essay or a position paper. So before that, what do we mean by argumentative essay or a position paper? First, according to Highland in 1990, it is simply an essay whose purpose is to convince the reader of a central position. Okay, uh, an essay whose primary, which primary purpose is to convince the readers about a certain stand so when you say stand, it could also mean point. When we mean point, we also mean position, thesis, statement, claim. So don't forget all of those. They actually mean the same thing. Stand, point, position, thesis, statement, or claim. Uh, before, I'm also confused. Oh, okay, claim. Oh, okay, stand. Oh, which is which? They actually mean the same thing. Now, Highland in 1990 proposed three stages of writing the argumentative essay. He actually has the first one, the thesis, in which it contains the attention grabber, background information, and the writer's position or thesis. The second one is the argument, which contains paragraphs which support and provide evidence for a proposition. And the last one, we have the conclusion, which reaffirms the writer's position. Now, there are other contents of the conclusion, but this is the most important, which is to reaffirm the writer's position. And we'll have them one by one later. Okay, let me start. In the first stage from Highland um, format, it should start, or your argumentative essay must start with the thesis. This is commonly called as the introduction of your paper. Remember that when you write a paper, you should have your IBC structure or the introduction, body, and conclusion. Okay. Your thesis includes an attention grabber. It could contain a situation, a report, an analogy, a 
quotation, something that would grab the attention of your reader. A background information could add, for instance, COVID-19, the use of face mask, and so on and so forth. And, of course, the most important, which I often look for in an essay of a student, is the thesis statement. Otherwise, without this thesis statement, I do not know what you are fighting for. I, I do not know what you are talking about. And to mind you, there are a lot of writers I have encountered, or should I say student writers or students who are asked to do an argumentative essay in which they forget this one, the thesis statement. Even in an essay writing contest, ha, there are many who forget this one, the thesis statement. It labels the evaluation move. Okay, the most referred to is the thesis or the thesis statement. Okay, so don't forget this one. Thesis statement. It talks about what is... All right, uh, this is a sample thesis statement. Okay, because many children are unable to be vaccinated due to illness, we must. So this now contains the most essential part, the stand of the author. We must require that all healthy and able children be vaccinated in order to have earned community. Take note, it even gives the limitation, no? all healthy and able children. So that means later on in the rebuttal part, thus the writer can already have an, a rebuttal in which the limitation of the stand or the claim is just for those who are healthy and able children who shall be vaccinated. Okay. Another sample thesis statement is parents should limit the usage of smartphones, monitor their children's online activity, and report any cyberbullying to school officials in order to combat this problem. Okay, so the primary problem here is cyberbullying which puts a lot of stress on many teens and can cause depression, anxiety, and even suicidal thoughts. So this is the situation. And so we have the suggestion. So I, this, the whole of this one is actually the thesis statement. Okay, so this are, or these are examples of thesis statements from a certain post but actually can also have a lot for example you have in um wearing of face masks with the decreasing number for instance with the decreasing decreasing number of covid-19 victims it is proposed that there should be a voluntary wearing of face masks in the outdoor uh, places. So you can have such kind of your thesis statement also. Okay. okay. To help you further understand the thesis statements, we have other examples here. For example, we have people should add exercise to their daily morning routine because it's not only it not only keeps their bodies at a healthy weight, but also reduces the risk of a high blood pressure. So this is another example. So you see it's very comprehensive. The presence of should also helps us see that this is a thesis statement because it gives here the proposition. What does it propose? To add exercise to the people's daily morning routine. Why? Because it uh, not only keeps keeps their bodies at a healthy weight, but also reduces the risk of a healthy blood or of a high blood pressure. So I think this is a very good thesis statement. And then we have other examples here of a thesis statement. You can actually post this video and um, read. Next, we have the three-stage uh, essay part. We have the argument part. Okay, this contains the paragraphs. Take note, ha, paragraphs. It should not only be one paragraph because I think one paragraph is not enough for you to support and provide evidence for a certain proposition. Okay, now, in having your 
argument, do not forget to have your evidence and some other uh, techniques. Now, Lim and Kami Mora, they divided this argument part into two sections, which actually is very helpful. So you can have your argument and then your discussion and your rebuttal. The rebuttal part will be essential for you to contradict the contradictions of your uh, audience or uh, readers who are still having a doubt against your proposition. So, yeah, include the rebuttal part, the argument and then the rebuttal, rebuttal part, and then the discussion and opinion together with your evidence. Okay, I would like to highlight here also what Alha and Ahmed in 1994 uh, notes and that is a well-written argumentative essay for it to be strong clear thesis statement it should come at the beginning of the essay so just like what I have mentioned a while back the thesis statement is very important without this being said even in the beginning of the essay I think your argumentative essay is directionless so you have to take note to put it in the beginning of the essay and then it will be fully supported in the argumentative part or your body part okay so the thesis statement must be fully supported with facts statistics research etc this would strengthen your um paper without this oh why did you say so what proves your paper your claim without this your argumentative essay is lacking of meat of substance and then make your paper thematic by using cohesive devices like furthermore on the contrary finally this would make your paper properly knitted together the ideas okay okay let's take a look at this one or this sample okay using cohesive devices and evidence this second part this uh, second paragraph supports this thesis statement. Okay, people should add exercise to their daily morning routine and so on and so forth. Now, this is what I'm trying to say, the, the cohesive devices. Firstly, and then if you would like to have additional idea in addition, or you can have more over, furthermore, also, and if it's your last statement, you can have finally, Okay, and then this is an example of an evidence, the National Library of Medicine 2017. And do not forget to make sure that the in-text citation is properly crafted or stated. Okay, and we're on the last part, the conclusion part, which reaffirms the writer's position. In here, you have to make sure that you reiterate the thesis statement. This makes your paper very thematic from beginning. You state it in the beginning. And then you have to repeat in the body part. Okay, so for instance, um, daily morning exercise adds to, a he to having a healthy body because, okay, first, you can start already with the first and then second and finally, okay? And then you have to reiterate it in the conclusion. So for example, in here, say for instance, you have already mentioned your ideas and then we have to reaffirm. So you can have the use of indeed. So this is one way of reaffirming your thesis statement. So if you notice the one that I've used a while back, people should add exercise to their daily morning routine. This might be very basic, but it would help you remember, ah, okay, I have my thesis statement. I'm going to state it. I'm going to reaffirm it. And you can use this kind of um, cohesive device okay, to intensify of oh, word rather indeed. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so just some few reminders for those who are writing right now their position paper, their argumentative essay. Do not forget to be consistent and true to your thesis statement or stand or claim or proposition. Because one of the things that I notice sometimes is that, okay, um, first, 
they state their thesis statement but they forget to support it in the body part and they forget to reiterate it in the conclusion part and the worst they don't have thesis statement at all so i don't know what you are talking about so for me as a teacher who would check your paper i don't know what you are talking about if you have you did not for, if you forget to write it in the introduction part or you have it in the introduction part but you don't have it in the body part and it's i find it weak if there's it's not even reiterated also in the conclusion part so you have to be true you have to be consistent to your uh, thesis statement stand or claim and then we have uh have a comprehensive and strong pieces of evidence okay so find time to research i think it matters although it takes time yeah and then or you have to read ahead so that you all you have to do is to put your uh, researches there and yeah i think and this is very impo important also to add um to the how your paper be, will be thematic the use of cohesive devices okay so this is the primary source of this discussion from i don't know how to pronounce this is Skinner. 2014 rethinking the argumentative essay this is very um reliable because it's from tesol uh yeah teaching english as a second language okay then some other some from the samples of the thesis um, statements don't forget to subscribe like and share Okay, so thank you so much. Once again, this is Explorer's Side, reminding everyone to always choose to be happy. But uh, by the way, don't forget to comment down and share what are some of the things that you want to know more. Yeah, and we'll try to find time to share our thoughts and learnings about those. Thank you so much. God bless.